everybody! Today I will be presenting about the history of real analysis and before I like start anything I want to show this picture that I found. I've seen it before and I thought this was perfect. So here it is. For some reason I couldn't fit the whole picture but we have after syllabus week and then we have after finals week. I think that's a really good representation of how I feel about this class because I remember the first week um, Dr. Bio was saying that it was going to be so hard and all this stuff, you know, hyping it up too much. And um, I thought, okay, true, I believe you, but like, I'm going to do good and I'm going to try hard. But that wasn't the case, you know, mid semester I decided to get a job, which just makes things worse. Duh. It was, yeah, it was rough. And so, yeah, that was me um, this whole semester. And now going back to my presentation, I wanted to talk about why I chose the history of real analysis. And I chose it similarly how I chose Pascal's triangle for my last seminar last semester. And I don't know if any of y'all were in my class. I think a few might have been. But anyways, I decided to choose that topic because my whole um, time here at ASU, whenever I got um, introduced to Pascal's Triangle, I was so against it. Like, I did not like it. I would never use it. And every time they talked about it, I just, like, closed, you know, myself. I was like, no, nope, I'm not going to learn this. This is dumb. There's other ways to do the problems. And for some reason, uh, Trey was the one that always talked about Pascal's triangle, but because I took like a lot of probability classes with him. So that's when we would use Pascal's triangle. And then after I did the seminar, I realized that Pascal's triangle was not that bad. You know, it was just me closing myself off. And I realized that if I would have used it, it would have saved me like seconds, minutes, you know, um, from probability problems. And it made me kind of upset, you know, that I didn't give it a chance. So, if y'all haven't connected the dots yet, same thing with analysis. Not necessarily analysis, but proofs, you know, every time I heard proofs or heard the word proof or that we had to prove something, I, I just kind of shut myself off again. So, I thought, why not try to understand it better and do my presentation over the... The History of Real Analysis In my presentation, I will be talking about what is real analysis, how it started, also known as the history, about Fourier, and Fourier's contribution to analysis, and of course, the conclusion. So what is real analysis? Well, in case you forgot, real analysis is the branch of mathematical analysis that studies the behavior of real numbers, sequences, and series of real numbers, and real functions. And for me, that was just so difficult to comprehend because, you know, we learn so much and we make it to the top and then they tell us, you know what, no, forget all of that, we're doing abstract stuff, which means you have to forget everything and start from the bottom that was difficult because I just didn't know whether if I'm thinking too abstract or that if I need to you know use a little bit more of my knowledge that I already have and vice versa. So in my research I found out that analysis evolved from calculus like analysis developed from calculus and what I also found out was that there's a lot of different types of analysis. There's real analysis, complex analysis, functional analysis, vector analysis, and many more. So now I'm going to talk about how real analysis started. And apparently analysis um, formally developed way back in the 17th century during the scientific revolution. But it is also said that many of its ideas um, can be traced way back uh, into earlier mathematicians. And I think it's necessary to say that Leonard Euler also had a big part of this. In the 18th century, he introduced a notation of mathematical function. And finally, in 1816, real analysis began to develop as an independent subject. 
when Bernard Balzano introduced the modern definition of continuity. And his work actually didn't become known until later on in the 1870s, which is why they said that um, that analysis developed or evolved from calculus because it was being introduced at this time also. Which is pretty mind-blowing because who knows, maybe there is some stuff being developed right now and we won't know until years later from now. Okay, so again, going back to 1821, at this time there was many things going on. There was a lot of mathematicians putting a lot of their contributions into all of this. And in 1821, a mathematician named Kochi, he uh, began to put calculus on a firm logical foundation. And he actually decided to not pay attention to anything Ullier said. He uh, formulated calculus in terms of geometric ideas. And he and introduced the concept of Cauchy sequence and started the formal theory of complex analysis. And again, more mathematicians studied partial differential equations and harmonic analysis, and that included Fourier. Joseph Fourier was a French mathematician and physicist. He is best known for initiating the investigation of Fourier series and later on, which later on developed into the Fourier analysis and harmonic analysis. Their application to problems of heat transfer and vibrations. And he is known for the Fourier transform and Fourier's law of conduction. And if that wasn't enough, he was actually credited with the discovery of the greenhouse effect. Fourier analysis is the way, the general way, for functions to be represented or approximated by sums of simpler trigonometric functions. This developed from the Fourier series, and he showed that representing a function as a sum of trig Oh, sorry, of trigonometric functions will simplify the study of heat transfer. The process of decomposing a function into oscillatory components is still used today and is called the Fourier analysis. And the general concept has been uh, extended and developed even more over time to apply to more abstract and general situations. So in my presentation, we discussed what real analysis is, which is a branch of mathematical analysis that studies the behavior of real numbers, sequences, and series of real numbers and real functions. We discussed how it started back in 1816, which again had said that it started centuries ago, that it was traced back by past mathematician. We talked about the French mathematician Joseph Foyer and who he was, and we also talked about his contribution to analysis, which is known as the Fourier analysis. And that concludes my presentation, and it is also the end of the conclusion. So thank you for your time, and hopefully uh, Dr. Fayo posts the video. I don't know if you have any questions. We'll see if I could answer them, because I don't know how that's going to work out, but... Yeah, thank you for your time and good luck.